Hello, uh, good morning. My name is David Roy and I'm the plant manager at Kimco. And I'm doing this video just for the sole purpose of giving you an idea on how our piece of equipment works. It's a Mosley 536 shear and it's approximately 25 years old. As you can see, it's mounted on six foot high pillars. This is in the air that high in order to just clean underneath the machine. And you're looking now from the wet side of the machine. The large door in the air is used to stage material when it's down flat and then dump it in the charging box. Okay, we're now situated at the south end of the shear. The door that's moving up in the air there, you'll see it in a second. Putting a piece of aluminum on the charging door. This charging door is 8 foot wide and 20 feet long. What it does, it lifts up in the air and dumps the material into the sizer, where the sizer then squishes it so it's 3 foot square. The ram at the end here is 22 feet long. It moves in 6 inches in increments on automatic. It'll push the scrap underneath the 24 inch diameter hydraulic cylinder. And that is where the blades are located. The blades are 3 inches thick, 5 inches high, and 36 inches long. We're now around at the east end of the shear. And this is the hydraulic room. There's a 2,000 gallon hydraulic tank here. It has a 100 horsepower motor on each end and there's four Vickers 45-25 hydraulic motors. Each motor, the 100 horsepower, has two Vickers 45-25s on each side of it. The four motors are broken down into two run the head, which is the 24 inch diameter cylinder to go up and down. One runs the charge cylinder, which is 22 foot long, moves in six inches increments. Then there's the two sizer doors that squish, squish the material. All these have been replaced or rebuilt in the last five to ten years. Notice the wooden structure and insulation, that's just in place to keep it warm during the winter time. As you can see, we have the control tower mounted 10 feet above the shear. That's in order for the operator to watch the crane, watch the material going in, and watch the material coming out. This control tower can be mounted any way in 360 degrees around the machine. It doesn't have to be situated where it is. I'm now going to turn off and watch the control. I'm now almost at the top of the tower. You can see the material loaded. Inside the control tower, there's two switches. One's for to operate the 100 horsepower motor at the front, and one's to operate the 100 at the back. The green light in between is for the hydraulic filter system.
This is the main control power. It's uh, quite simple. Four levers. One for the left door, one for the right door, one for the push cylinder that pushes the material under, and the other one's to move the head up and down. That's a 24 inch diameter cylinder. The operator has a good view from up here. But again, this tower can be located anywhere around the machine. Now that's the aluminum now in the machine and we're just trying to squish it down to get it to go in underneath the head. We're watching the cylinder now. When the cylinder is at 90 degrees, it's cutting the material. When the cylinder is moving up, the blades are moving up to allow the material to run underneath. It moves back to about 25, 30 degrees, then it goes back down again. It's all set on automatic and we run on automatic or manual. Right now we're moving around to the north end of the machine. This is the discharge chute. You see the aluminum coming out. It's roughly three feet wide. Cut it whatever length you want. This grade of aluminum is 50-52. It's very hard, but it cuts it no problem at all. This machine is designed to cut up to three inches. Diameter shaft or one inch thick steel, so it doesn't have a problem with aluminum. If you can see the lights in the way here, this is where you stage the material. This is a 40 foot long tanker trailer. So it's used to haul diesel fuel and it's being strapped now. It has very thick ribs in the center, and we're just cutting it up to make it easier for the shear to shear it. On each side, there's a sizer on each side. And you can see these are the hydraulic cylinders that close the sizer. There's three on each side. They're six inch diameter, four feet long. We've rebuilt these cylinders, I don't know, five times or four times in the last 25 years. They're just basic packings in them. There's a very simple to rebuild. Nice little pile of snow. Um, the outfeed side has a shaker table on it. This is positioned so people can stand here and observe material going across. They can clean it. This is the material coming out of the pier right now. I'm now down on the west side at the north end of the machine where the shaker table is. This is where the material is coming out. That's looking up at the control tower. Coming over and we're going underneath the machine right now. machine for approximately 25 years we would shear material that would be two to three foot in size we'd shear 40 tons of number two a day we'd also get in about another 10 tons of byproducts that were heavier steel copper content aluminum and some refuse the machine worked well for 25 years the problem is after 25 years we had to put in a shredder that would do 10 times as much in a day the machine's in A1 condition. The price is FOB Kimco. 
where it stands. Thank you.